Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aries for the third week of July 2020 for love and relationship. Someone love you so much and coming back to you, which is someone that you separated from. Coming to you out of love, happy, excited. This time they want to leave you alone because they think that you are confused and you keep being confused and you don't know what to do. And you are confused and confused and confused. And this person is confused and you are like... Okay, I'm going to leave this person. I'm not going to do any effort anymore. I'm going to let go all of my efforts with this person. And... Uh, <laughs> it's like, you don't know why... Your guy or your woman is acting this way. You want to be happy with them. And there is really so much love between you two. But both of you are being smart with each other. You don't trust him. He doesn't trust you. It goes to both men and women. A man and a woman. Okay. And I get here you are coming forward with this person. To be really spying on them through a friend. It could be daughter. You want to spy on uh, this person through your daughter, your son. Or it could be like no friends. Or you could be like, you know, really just walking back and forth, like, you know, or driving. You want to see, like, you know, who is at his place or her place. To see who visit this person and what they are doing exactly. Huh. I see, like, you know, that this person loves you. They are coming to you. There is intimacy also, and you are trying to ignore ignore them. You work with them and you ignore them, and you feel like no, it's over. That's it, it's over. I ended it, you know. But I get here, you keep changing your mind. Why? Because you take decisions while you are upset. Do not take any decisions while you are um, emotional. When you are angry, you make a decision, you back off on it. And you, when you are so upset and confused about too many things, you make a decision, then you back off on it. it says here, like, no sleep on it, then make a decision. Don't keep saying, okay, I'm leaving, I'm going, I don't want this. Because you keep coming back with each other, you and your person, so why the hassle, why you keep doing that? And you feel like, okay, um, you want... This person you love to be with you, to be sensitive to you and your needs and to be emotional for you, to love you more. It says here, this person loves you already. So what are you talking about? But because this person like to keep being like, you know, maybe mean or tough with you, you don't like it. You want to have the control. That's why I get here at the end. Your person become like, you no know, really very negative and they don't want to deal with it and they become angry and upset and fighting and they block you at the end. Okay. We see happiness, you see separation, we see misunderstanding, we see confusion. Issue of trust and you love each other crazy, you are crazy about each other. You think that, you know, when you ignore your your, uh, your person is going to be really missing you and come after you, but you feel sometimes you ignore them because he or she could be cheating on you. Or they have like, you know, that type of, like, you know, of addiction, like, you know, that addiction is not really a good uh, a, a good thing. So you don't understand why you, why this person is really acting this way. And you become undecided. And, and 
and the person you are with or you love, they keep saying like, no, okay, this is over. I'm not sure. I'm not returning anymore. I'm going to block this person. And you keep coming back with each other. Wow. There is a female ex and that person is really, really very jealous and cause the negative between, it could be male or female, I'm sorry, negative and doesn't wish you good on your relationship. I'm not sure if this is really like you know, an ex of yours or an ex like you know, of the other person. Is it your ex? Or his or her, your partner ex? The person that you love, they have an ex and the ex is causing like you know, all of that negative between you two. This person is holding a lot like you know, really bad emotions for you or negative vibes like you know, pushing on you. It's like they wish you really bad. It's like you, they don't want they, they don't want you to succeed with the with the person that you love. And you need to like you know to be careful or uh, do salt bath or do something like you know to get to get rid like you know of this person I on you on you both. And also I see like you know if you have an ex also like you know that they don't really wish you good. Every time you are happy, there is something like you know just happen because out of jealousy between you and your partner. You not and you need like you know, to get rid of like you know, those people who wish you really ill. You will receive like you no know, text message like you know, from your person here, the one you love, and you feel like you know, that they have a good intention for you because they want to marry you and be with you, but you still like you know, holding on so much against uh, your uh, person and you feel like you know, that they need or owe you like you no know, really a lot and they are not really giving you what you want at the end i see you happy and getting married to this person even all of this stressful situation is going to go away you need to change things in your life for you to be happy also um some of you is coming to a divorce if you are legally attached like you know, to a husband or a wife that uh, they are separated from you for a while also that you need like you know, to let go of that person also because um if you want to move forward with the one you love, you need like to apply for that divorce because you are not, it's like you are in a relationship with someone with an ex, like you know, on paper only, but not physically. So when you change things in your life, like you change that method or that road and become free from the person uh, which is the ex, you will be really happy with the person that you love because you can end up marrying each other, which is a good thing. That will make like, you know, things better for you. And I get here being smart with your person and being like you not know, really fighting like that and angry. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work like that. What you need to do like you know, just uh, right now, focus on, uh, on the issue. The main issue is the center here. The center of your problems with the one you love, mostly your attachment to an ex because it's really like you know, just a paper. And you need, like, you no, know, just to walk away from that marriage because this person is not with you, you know, physically at all. You have been, like, you no, know, separated from each other for a long time. 
and each one of you will like you know have other people so just do that paper and you will be happy with this person this is coming up for you this is what you are going to do and I get here some of you is going to work on it in the coming three weeks and some of you is going to work on it in September and you need to be free so you will be much happier because all of these problems is going to continue with you, with your person, if you do not walk away from the other relationship. And it's going to make things like, you no know, really better for you, dear Aries. And, uh, dear Aries, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. And the link for my website is really below this video. And uh, when you go to my website... You will see all the information that you need to contact me. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.